God honors those who guard their heart. So how can you guard your heart? Because if the issues of life flow out of it, how can you guard your heart? Well, a couple of things. Number one, make prayer a priority. And it doesn't have to be. When, when I say that, sometimes people will, will kind of flinch because they've heard sermons where, you know, you need to, to pray for this long and you need to pray for this. They start to lay out things like that. Listen, just pray. Just begin by maybe taking some notes, making a list. Make a list on your, your notes on your phone. Or as I said, use version Bible guided prayer. It's, it's not bad to do, to stop and reflect. And then when you're done reflecting on that, press it and go on to the next thing. Do that if you need it. Use the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer is a pattern. And Jesus told us to pray this way. Sometimes people will say, well, I don't know how to pray. Trust me, if you don't know how to pray, then you probably know how to pray better than people who think they know how to pray. Because you just say, my, my Dad, Father who's in heaven, you're holy. Holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. I want your will in my life. You just go through the Lord's Prayer. Almost all of us know it. We can sit down and pray it in, by, by memory. Reflecting through Scripture. Taking in the Word of God. Reading it daily. Jesus said that man doesn't live Man doesn't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So if you're guarding your heart, then you want to get God's word in your life. When I first became a Christian, I used to think, I was told to read two chapters a day. That's what I was told, to read two chapters a day. So I would read two chapters a day. The problem is I'd forget that I was supposed to read the Bible. I'd, I'd put it off in the morning, put it off all day. And then at nighttime, I'm reading it. And man, I could read two chapters so fast. Then close my Bible. Now I've read them. I've read those two chapters. But I couldn't remember anything out of it. And I wasn't spoken to by anything in it. So I began just to read with a pencil in my hand. That was a sense of anticipation. God's going to speak to me. God, I'm going to find something to underline. So I'm right reading my Bible with a pencil in hand. And then I would put a little dash. Something would speak to me. And I would put a little dash at the end of that so I didn't have to end at the end of a chapter. And that's where I would pick it up the next time I would read. Again, rather than being focused on, you got to have two, two chapters a day to really be spiritual. Let God speak to you. Have that relationship with God. Because that's what Christianity is, if it is nothing else, is relational with God. And we guard our hearts as we take God's word in, as we call out upon his name, as we watch the kind of things that we're thinking about and allowing to come into our lives. Guard it, because out of it flow the very issues of life. 